Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Berkwist, and this video is going to focus on writing a detailed sentence. Now when we write detailed sentences for our writing, we want to make sure our sentences include an entire thought or idea. We want to include the characters that are in our pictures and in our stories. We want to include where we are in our story, and we want to include our feelings and what we are doing. So. You might have more than one sentence for a picture or a page, and that's okay, but we want to make sure that the sentences on those pages tell our readers what's going on in our story so we have good detailed sentences. So this, I'm just going to use this picture to help me write my detailed sentences for practice. So in the picture, I can see that there are two people. I'm going to pretend that this character is me and this character is my brother. I know that I'm outside because I have flowers and grass. We are also flying a kite. If I were to add more details to my picture, I might add some sun, clouds, maybe some trees and color. We can see that the characters are happy because they have smiles on their faces. So when we're writing our sentences, we can look at our characters and what's in our picture to help guide our sentences as to what to include. So I'm going to start the, my sentence with, I am with my brother outside. So that sentence tells my reader who is with me and where I am. So don't forget, we always start our sentence with an uppercase letter. I am with my brother outside. I'm going to reread my sentence to make sure I have everything that I need and my words are spelled correctly. I am with my brother outside. I put a period at the end of my sentence to tell my reader to pause or stop reading and a period tells my reader that I is a, a statement that I'm just telling something. I'm not asking a question and I'm not excited or mad. I have spaces between my words. I have lowercase letters after my first word. And my sentence includes the characters in the picture and also where the picture is or where the story takes place. My next detailed sentence needs to tell my readers how my characters are feeling and what they are doing. I have to make sure it's a complete thought or an idea. So my sentence is going to say, I, am happy to play with my brother while flying a kite. Or another sentence I can write to include all those things is, I am happy to fly a kite with my brother. So I need a two finger space because it's my next sentence or my next thought. I am happy, that's my feeling, to fly a kite, that's what my character or what I am doing in the picture, with my brother. That sentence has the characters in my story. That sentence includes how my characters are feeling or how I am feeling in the picture. And that sentence also includes what I'm doing in the picture. So I'm going to reread it and make sure that my sentence has everything a sentence needs. I, there's my uppercase letter for the beginning of my new sentence, am happy to fly a kite with my brother. There's my other character in my picture. I have spaces between my words. I have a period at the end that tells my reader to stop reading. So my sentence should match the picture on the page. I can check that by rereading and making sure that I have everything in my picture in my sentence. I am with my brother outside. That includes my other character. That includes me. That includes where I am in the picture. I am happy to fly a kite with my brother. That includes where, where I am, what I'm doing, and how I am feeling. So remember, 
boys and girls, detailed sentences include feelings of characters or feelings of you, what is going on in the picture or what is going on in the story, where the story takes place, are you inside, outside, are you at a store? You can even name that store, like Walmart or Giant Eagle. And who are you with? Are you by yourself? Are you with your brother or sister? Are you with your mom and dad or your grandparents? So your sentences should have lots of details that help your readers understand what is going on in your picture. And also, your sentences should match the picture that is on that page and not about something different.